Hey, hello everyone, it's Daniel. This is the fourth video of my breaking series for inline skating and in this video we will learn together how to low stop. Let's go! Alright, let's begin by learning the plow stop. Therefore, first we take a look at a necessary body posture and technique we will need for. Using the plow stop needs a lot of musket power to generate a high friction between our wheels and the ground. To stop, we press our wheels on the ground as hard as possible. With a special movement, using our legs and feet we can assist the power of friction. Maybe you may already be familiar with this technique from alpine skiing. But however, this technique is difficult to explain. And because of that, just watch my movement in the video. Okay, while doing this technique we try to push our thighs towards the outside. To pull our knees to the inside. To push apart our lower legs. To pull and tilt our skates to each other. and to tilt our wheels towards the inside to laterally press them on the ground. And this technique provides the best form for breaking using the plow stop. Well, here we can see that I pull my knees next to each other. But this movement I am just doing to clarify what kind of power we will need. By using the plow stop, our knees will not touch each other. It's more like keeping our legs apart by tensing muscles while pressing our knees to the middle of our body, but above our toes. Face to face I am also using another explanation. Just try to imagine you are caged between two walls and you can only use your feet to free yourself. Try to imagine the movement of your legs and feet to push apart the walls. Well. For the first tries and practices we begin by skating slow. As soon as it works we will increase skating speed step by step. And that's all. Ok at this point I like to mention that a plow stop is not a good technique to do a complete stop skating fast. But it's a very nice technique to stop while skating slow. Moreover the plow stop is one of the most best techniques to slow down in order to use a second technique for a complete stop. For example. We can do a blow stop to reduce speed in order to do a spread eagle spin out. A spread eagle spin out is another technique to stop, which we will learn from the next video of this series. And lastly, the blow stop is the perfect way to control speed while skating. For example, to not crash with bikers, pedestrians, and others. Good, with this in mind, thanks for watching, have fun practicing the blow stop, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.